Were you trying to organize your PC? Maybe tweak some settings or just rearranging your PC but accidentally turned your normal disk into a dynamic one? Your files are all still there and you cannot find a way to fix this. Yup, I've been there too. And if you're like me, you must have Googled a solution but all Google tells you to do is use disk management or command prompt which requires you to delete all volumes on that disk. Before you do that, let me stop you right there. In order to fix this, you need to understand what and why the problem exists. In Windows, basic disks use a traditional partition table to manage data. On the other hand, dynamic disks use something called LDM, Logical Disk Manager database to keep track of disk information. When you convert a basic disk to a dynamic disk, Windows adds this LDM database to the end of the disk. Your data stays safe during this process. However, here's the catch. Dynamic disks fully rely on the LDM database instead of the standard partition table. So, if you ever want to convert it back to a basic disk, you'll need to delete all volumes first. This is necessary to remove the LDM database and rebuild a proper partition table. In simple terms, converting to dynamic is safe and keeps your data. But converting back to basic requires erasing everything on the disk. So that's why you can't just convert back without losing everything. You might be wondering, why do they do this? Well, dynamic disks were designed for advanced setups, like combining multiple hard drives into one. But Microsoft doesn't really use them anymore, and undoing it is still a nightmare. Luckily for us, there's a way to tackle it. Let me show you. First things first, back up your important files. If the dynamic disk happens to be where Windows is installed, in other words, if it includes your C drive, things can get a bit more tricky. So, although the method I'm about to show you is completely safe, I wouldn't recommend taking unnecessary risks. So, always create a backup. For the next step, you would need a third-party tool like ESA's Partition Master, since Windows cannot do it on its own. After you have ESA's Partition Master installed, launch it and make sure your dynamic disk is visible in the interface. Now, go to the Disk Converter tab and select Dynamic to Basic. Then, right-click the dynamic disk and click on Convert. This way, ESA's will prep the disk without affecting your files. And finally, apply the operation and restart if needed. Once it's done, you're back to basic without the loss of any data. Now, if you were wondering, how did I even end up in the dynamic disk in the first place? Let me tell you so you can avoid it next time. There could be multiple reasons such as accidentally clicking convert to dynamic in disk management or maybe misunderstanding disk settings while setting up storage. It can also occur if you were following an old tutorial that might have recommended dynamic disks. But you don't have anything to worry about. Even if you happen to land there again, you now know how to fix it. If this helped you, let us know in the comments and in case you're stuck, you can ask away. We will try to help ASAP. Until next time.